Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. And today we're going to talk about uh, something I haven't talked about for a while. What do I process and do all my work on and what power is that new you know, pretty scepter monitor I have? What kind of PC are you running? Well, you should already know, but I run a Zotac CI-323 with an uh, Intel quad-core Celeron 3150. Yeah, not exactly the most stellar uh, product on Earth. Uh, for speed, but it runs ice cold. I get low temperatures. It just takes quite a bit of time to process. And when I built it, I was going for quick and dirty, and I got, I think I put the whole thing together for under 300 bucks. I should have bought two sticks of RAM at 4 gig each, so I had dual channel RAM. Um, and then we're going to talk about what I'm going to upgrade to today. So I'll shoot the first half, show you some pictures of the CI-323. And then I'll tell you uh, through, screen, through a screenshot section. The one I'm looking at now. I like the Zotac products. They're very good. They're rock solid. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's get to the intro. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, folks. So here we are back. And as promised, we're shooting uh, uh, this on the uh, good old new mobile G3. Now down here, well, this would be the CPU, the desktop, the entire thing. Pretty amazing. And we got a, a hub plugged into it, the uh, TP-Link 400, which allows me to plug a ton of stuff in. And then you'll notice a few things. Uh, we've got a, uh, I guess I'm going to have to point some stuff out. It's our micro SD card adapter. I've got a USB-C right down here, although I have a USB-C, the full USB-A, which is where we'll be plugging the mic in for the screenshot portion, and next to that is the uh, regular USB uh, 3.0 slot. On the back, it's got several more USB 2 and USB 3 slots. Uh, one of which is uh, where my keyboard plugs in, by the way. Uh, right over there is the uh, good old uh, Wintz Angle 3. Provides all my audio. So, while this thing is uh, really good, and, and this thing has also VGA, HDMI display port out and two Ethernet ports in the back and you can see the antenna sticking up there um, Just barely It this thing runs ice cold. I'll show you the uh, uh, Hardware info on it Once we get to that portion of the screenshot part of the video and I'm going to tell you what I'm considering buying and doing an upgrade to it's going to be another Zotac product. Not a big surprise. Let's get to that right now. All right, folks, here we are back. Uh, before we get into the Zotac replacement, this is the uh, normal temps I get out of the Zotac. Um, as you can see, now I've been doing some, you know, hand-breaking stuff to reduce video file size. 
So you will see. We did hit 67, but our average temp's right around 60. And we're currently at like 64. Whatever. So now, as you know, I have the CI 323. You saw the pictures. This would be the replacement for that. This is a Zotac Z Box MI527. And, well, currently we're looking at the back end of it. Uh, these are all. USB 3s on the back, and I believe, let's go down to the specs, where it shows the supports, somewhere. They're all USB 3.1s, and then we got two 3.1 Gen 2s. Uh, those are USB type C ports. Now we'll get around to showing you those in the front. You also have your two 1 gig Ethernets, your display port, your HDMI, your power coming in. Uh, let's go to the front. And you've got your micro SD card slot here, which is good up to, I believe I saw somewhere in the specs, you can put a 32 gig. Uh, SD or micro SD into an adapter in there. You got two USB 3.1s and another USB 3.1 full size. No lack of ports. Now, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is the in Intel Core i3 7100. Yeah, it's a dual core, but it's not a self run, folks. Considerably more powerful. And number two, big number two, DDR4 RAM can be shoved into this. There are two slots for it. And you can go up to 32 gig of RAM. I'd probably only go to 16. That's way more than I'm ever going to use. Uh, because I'm just not going to have the graphics to handle it. Uh, the Intel graphics are 620s from Intel. Now, CI323 only has Intel 500 graphics and still manages to crank out a video, a rather long video, in about an hour. And then, of course, I have to compress it back down. Uh, that's just how it works. Uh, and there's all your ports and does have the Wi-Fi AC which the current one does have also the Bluetooth 4.2 I believe is better than what I I think I have Bluetooth 4 uh, on uh, the current Zotac so I can yeah just plug up Bluetooth keyboard in it, or obviously we have the Unis Angle 3 sitting there chugging away talking to it. So, of course, the number one thing I'm going to need is this 512 gigabyte uh, SSD card. And then We'll see how things work out. If everything works out well, and I'm able to uh, pull my Windows 10 over. I have Windows 10 Pro currently, and I'll just move it on to the new one. And I'll wipe the old disk, which is a 240, and hopefully I'll just give it away as it sits. With the 8 gig of RAM in it, and the uh, 240 gig hard drive. Yeah, I still have the original box, the visa mount, all the screws, all the good stuff. So, uh, I found a link for this on, uh, uh, well, that's on Amazon. That'll be linked below. So will the uh, 
ZTXLM. This I shot the intro on it. And of course, uh, the Zotac mini box location. I will link also. This is on B&H, which I saw so many commercials for them. I was like, yeah, let me check these guys out. They're actually pretty good. Their prices are good. Two seventy nine for this, plus the fact that oh, look at this free expedited shipping. Not a bad deal. Yeah, I didn't even look at that. Uh, so, if you found this the least bit helpful, one, read the description below. Big Arrow coming up. All those links will be there. All the good info about our channel. And places to donate. We don't do Patreon. We take single donations. I could be dead tomorrow. I could get run over by a freight train. And then, uh, when you're done doing that, well, of course, there will be the usual reminder coming up right here. There it is. Yep. Subscribe. Click the bell. You'll be notified. And give us a like and leave a comment in the comments below. And, of course, share the video. Sharing really helps a lot. But what helps even more is the likes and watch the whole damn thing. That's all I got. Now i got to edit this on the uh, Zotac CI323. The one all the reviewers will tell you, well, you, you could never edit a video on that. Yeah, kiss my ass.